This is episode 91 of the Out of the Minds podcast. I'm Sean Oakley. And I'm Sam Cooper, and this is the episode where Sean continues to uh, try and find a legitimate list, and I take the uh, bad ships because I'm, I am I refuse to believe that they're bad. But it's not separatists, so... But it's not separatists, no. Uh, I brought Republic today. Yeah, so let's get the boring stuff out of the way, which is my list. Um, and... As regular listeners know, I've been trying to fit it, find the best four pointer to fit in behind Boy Vader, Boy Backstabber, Boy Mauler, and Moff Gideon, because I'm really digging Gideon's ability at the moment. Um, and I had a thought what happens if that four pointer wasn't a four pointer? What happens if that four pointer was a three pointer and Boy Vader was Big Boy Vader? Uh, so to that extent, I've got Aiden with the standard Aiden build, Ion Cannon Elusive, uh, and then Vader, who is bringing Pattern Analyzer, Fire Control, Afterburners, Brilliant Evasion, and Elusive. Just trying to make him, like, Pattern Analyzer is great on him because he can trigger all the stuff, and Afterburners and Fire Control, and then just trying to make him a little tankier with Brilliant Evasion and Elusive, because obviously you are down that one shield. Yep, and it comes in clutch, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, it does. But like, my thoughts were, I six, you can probably dodge a fair few balls, ice. Um, between three green dice and elusive, you're probably getting at least two paint, whatever they are. Um, not all the time, but the majority of the time, it kind of frees you up a bit more to spend your focus on attack, knowing that you've got that, you know, effectively one force is a focus, not a calculate on defence. Yeah. Uh, so, Republic, Sam. Well, there's also in this list, there's Backstabber, More the Miffle, and Mod Moth Gideon as well, we should like. I mean, I did, mate, yeah. You, you, you said you got the usual list, but what if Vader was Big Boy Vader? Yeah, okay, yeah. Fair, fair. Uh, so, my list is basically... Um, essentially, it's boiled down to I can't remember why, but like, oh yeah. So one of the our uh, regular Tin Squadron members, huge. Uh, he plays Republic, and he brings the um, Z ninety fives quite often to his games. Uh, and so I've basically been on the opposite side of it, and I they've never done particularly well. But I've looked at their abilities, and I'm like, there's no, some of these should be good, and so I've determined to try and make find the the, the sort of thing that these Z ninety fives fit into nicely. So to that extent, we have Drift in the Z95 with Predator, Fire Control System, and Synchronized Console. And Drift's ability is that as long as he has uh, a one red non-lock token or one orange token, either or, uh, allies uh, range 0 to 1 can reroll one attack dice. Which is great. Mini Howlrunner. Like, li well, no, not even mini. Literally Howlrunner. Yeah. Pretty much, if you, if you uh, do it correctly. Uh, then I've also got Stub with Predator Fire Control System and Synchronized Console. Uh, and Stub's ability is when he basically, when you've revealed a even numbered uh, maneuver on your dial, you roll one more defense dice. And when you re reveal an odd numbered maneuver, you re -roll, you roll one more attack dice. So he's kind. The way I like to see it is he's basically Lulo, but in a Z and dive three. Yeah. Uh, and then to back them up, we've got uh, Siege of Corazon Click, because that is good. Siege of Corazon Kickback, because he's good. Uh, and then I had eight points, and so I couldn't just jam Anakin in without like messing around a little bit with what I wanted. Uh, so I went with the uh, what I'm going to call completely ultra discount Anakin, which is Ahsoka in the Delta 7 with Patience, R4P17 in the calibrated laser targeting, and Mace in the Delta 7 with Patience, Shattering Shot, R4P generic, I believe? R4P, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, CLT. The idea being that six ships is quite a lot of ships. Um, the, the Jedi should be able to line up bullseyes with their like, abilities, and Ahsoka like, gives extra actions. Mace just has lots of force and lots of ways to get it, and so they can be like little AC, mini, mini aces, um, and... Like the theme of this list is lots of mods because Drift is basically giving out mods, Click and Kickback giving out defensive mods, Ahsoka is giving out uh, extra actions, Mace has tons of force and stuff like that. So that was my idea anyway. Yeah. Uh, so um, we are playing Salvage Mission. 
Uh, and that doesn't matter until like turn six or seven. So yeah, that, but, okay. So <laughs> to cut this short, let, let, let's cut the the the, the um, boxes are literally set up in a cross. You put one yep. at uh, range two at the center. I put one range two at the center. You went to the left as far uh, up as you could, and I went to the right as far up and right as I could. There is a cross as objectives. Uh, obstacles wise, I, I brought three Pride of Mandalore rocks because honestly, why change anything that, that I'm doing? Uh, I brought three small rocks because that's what I'm bringing with. Yeah. The three small rocks are arranged in a line down the centre of the board, one near my home objective, one near the centre, and one near the uh, Sean's home objective. And the Pride of Mandala rocks are essentially arranged in, like, an L. One's uh, in the, uh, like, the Sean's uh, left-hand left -hand side corner, uh, one's in Sean's right-hand side corner, and one is uh, just over the centre line on my half of the um, board next to the objective. Yes. So there's a great big whacking open space uh, in like the top, uh, like Sean's top left and my bottom right, with three objectives in it, and then a giant a cluster of rocks uh, on the uh, other side. Yes. Uh, Sean wins first player uh, for the first round. So I set up my threes, and I set up drift and stub uh, uh, in my in the basically the top left uh, corner, drift right at the back, and stub just in front of him. Uh, I set up Aiden uh, just to the right of the obstacle that's in my left corner because I want to set up basically all the ties to go through that gap. Uh, so that's as far left as I can set it up, and I set up Gideon behind. Yeah. Uh, then with the fours, oh, yeah. uh, sorry, and, and I, I put I set up sorry I set up a soaker next to uh, well, uh, it, during the block next to drift at the very back. Uh, the fours I put click uh, facing along my board edge. Uh, Directly next to Ahsoka, the idea being you can he's he's like going to be able to uh, move, take his locks, and then move and uh, grab the box, hopefully. And Mace, I set up in the dead center of the board, uh, fate, like literally, basically, actually, not dead center, just to the right of center, um, uh, facing down against where I assume Vader is going to be. Because why wouldn't you take the? Hey, look, there's an idiot over here. <laughs> Uh, so I set up uh, Backstabber, uh, just to the right of Gideon along my board edge, uh, and Mauler just to the right of him, and about... Uh, basically, the back back of his ship base is just behind the front of Backstabber's ship base. And that way, when you fly them, if they dial in the same manoeuvres, they shouldn't bump, and they should always be in each other's side arcs. Uh, and then I set up kickback uh, just to the left of Ahsoka, uh, directly in front of where Click is. So I essentially have a bit of like, I, I have like, how do I describe this? That's, like a easy. three. I've set I've oh. set up my formation like I was like going to say three. from the way you're looking at it, uh, from your your board edge, it's a U. Yeah, from my board edge, it's a U. From Sean's, it's like <laughs> an N. An N. <laughs> uh, three and back, two at the front edges. Three at the back, two at the front, and there's a gap in the middle. Uh, and I do set up Vader opposite Mace. Now, I'm fully aware Mace is just going to turn away, but at least that's hurting him. Um, and if he, yeah. do if he does do something unexpected, Vader's kind of, ironically being the fact he doesn't have a natural boost, uh, kind of got the manoeuvrability to chase, I suppose. Yeah. Um... Um, and speaking of mistakes, because we can get to it, I don't actually think there's any legitimate reason I shouldn't have just set up Mace with the rest of my list. Yeah, no, I'd agree. With Not you. really. Like, like in like I, in hindsight, and I probably I should have seen this coming. Like my my block is actually a decent jousty defensive block because yeah. as long as everyone's around drift, everyone's getting rerolls, everyone's able to share the tokens. Ahsoka could give whoever she needs to an action. Well, not whoever she needs to. Chances are, if she's moved, the fours and fives aren't in range one. But like the idea, like it should have all just been a block. There's no reason for it not to. Yeah, that's fair. Which um, is interesting because actually, I think I would have taken that joust. And yeah, and I'm not sure. Like, I, you know what? There's no way to know how it goes. I, I think you probably would have won, but well, it would I, come down to dice. Yeah. I mean, I say because I'm like, I say I would have taken that joust. You know, I've set up the three, the fours before you set up mace. Yeah, but I kind of set them up in a position where if you had turned into a block, straight maneuver, bank, or fast yeah. straight maneuver, hard turn, and we joust. But 
Yeah. I, I, that, that, I actually think that I would have literally just straight come down to dice because if you can punch through my defense stuff and knock off uh, like the Jedi maybe or any of my ships because I have like they're all relatively decent health then I would have died um, and it, 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 it's actually it would have been like shooting at a droid swarm if you can burn all the calculates on a droid swarm their hit back isn't going to do that great and if you can burn all my tokens and get me to strain kick back and click then they're not going to do that great either see I think my goal there would be if I can trade Mace and Ahsoka for Vader yeah I'm happy with that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and obviously Gideon really helps with with that yes but yeah, um... I mean that's that's the that's the interesting thing about it. If if I got a range, let's say, you know what? I've no idea how this. Goes. I guess if I got a range three engage, I'm perfectly happy. Kickback is the only person with a missile, and has decent chance, a decent shot at splashing uh, damage. Yeah, yeah. Um, the problem then comes is I need to like I need to get a lot of damage in because next round we're going to be range one, and you're going to get two shots where I don't get mods, and yeah. the entire point of my list is defensive mods, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Let's Actually, get into the game. No, no, before we get into the game, before we get into the game, because you've just made me think about something with Born for This. Well, it's obviously Born for This allowing you to to do those uh, yeah. defensive tokens, and I'm just curious whether um, Gideon actually stops that or not, or whether it's another case I think of... It like, I think it counts as if the, the person is spending it yeah. as if it was on theirs. Oh, yeah. So Defence dice cannot be modified during this attack. So yeah, it would stop Yeah, this. also, yes. <laughs> uh, well, because obviously, you know, like they've ruled that yeah. Palp isn't the shit modding yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. it's Palp. So but, uh, yeah, but I think speci specifically, even if it did say that ship cannot mod its defense dice, uh, the born for this ability is you can spend it as if it is yours. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, okay, that would stop it. Okay, uh, so let's get into this. Uh, and I am first player for turn one. Uh, so the uh, Zeds go, uh, and Stub does a three straight and then boosts to the left, because the ship ability of the clone Zeds is if their revealed manoeuvre is blue, they can do a, they have boost on their action bar, which is a... I like that ability. Yeah, it's not. Uh, then Drift does a three straight, and I tried to boost to the left, but it fails, but no harm, no foul. Uh, and Ahsoka does a two straight, and then I realise I've already cocked this up, probably, so I just boost straight. Um, uh, and then, uh, sorry, no, I, I do a two straight, uh, force boost, and then focus. Uh, so Iden does a four straight, um, just trying to get up past the rock, uh, and takes a focus, and Gideon does a four, and cloaks. Yep, standard stuff. So Click does a two bank, takes target locks, and puts it onto the Jedi. Mace does a one hard to the right, um, basically getting away from the inevitable Vader charge. And then I uh, boost to the left with the force and take a focus. Uh, four straights from both Backstabber and Mauler, and a focus. Uh, kickback is a three straight, which is why I couldn't do the boost I wanted to do with Ahsoka, uh, because Ahsoka would have been right there, and I just take a focus. Uh, Evader does do the five, um, which doesn't get me, actually. up. I always overestimate how far a five goes. Um because what it's done is it's because I don't have the one hard on the X one. The mustache rock is in yeah. the way of the two, and possibly in fact, I think probably the three as well. So if yeah. I'd done, if I'd done a four, I could have looped in in between the small rock on my edge and the mustache rock. Um, but what I'm actually forced to do is burn a afterburner's charge to get that two shit space. I'm all, I'm all right with that because it's um, you know it opens up the gap to to swing in on the next turn, it's just better planning would have not necess uh, necessary. Yeah. I wouldn't have had to do it if I planned better. There we go. Uh, and I reach for a lock because I've got an action, so I might as well, uh, and lock a rock because no one's in range. So, on to the next turn. And this is, this is I think, was is probably the most interesting turn when it comes to manoeuvres, because... Your tie swarm could have banked towards me, or it could have gone straight, or it could have hard turned, and I was like, uh, "What? What you do depends." It's like either, because I've got two ships, like I, I just slightly off, and four ships that are near, and I'm like, "Okay, I don't know which one you're going to go for." Uh, and Mace is still threatened by uh, Vader. Yeah. So I basically, I basically decide, you know what? 
it's all in time. Um, Essentially, yeah. Well, no, no, no. Sorry, this is the turn. It's not all in. This is the turn. It's it's wishy washy time. Wishy washy time. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I'm thinking, hmm, I need to. Well, I need to make a decision of what I want to do. Um, actually, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, so we roll so. off. Uh, Gideon did not have to decloak in the planning phase uh, and did not opt to decloak. Uh, and uh, Sam is first player. Yeah. So Stubb does a one straight and focuses. Ahsoka does a one bank, spends a force uh, to coordinate, uh, so to barrel roll herself and then focuses. And then Drift does a one bank, ba- tries to barrel roll to the left, uh, but can't because uh, kickback is there, gaining a stress for nefarious purposes. And, now, see, it's funny because when, <laughs> when you did that, I was like, he seems incredibly happy about the fact that that's failed. I'm missing something here. I'm like, he's going to spring something on me later because I hadn't clocked Drift's ability because I haven't yeah. ever really flown the Z95. So I was like, something's happening. He's done that for a reason, and I don't know what it is. Uh, and then my fours. So Mace does a one hard to the left. Uh, and then I realise that I've were stuffed it a little bit. So I force barrel roll to the left and backwards uh, and then focus. And then click does a three straight exactly to where Mace was a second ago and focuses. Basically pointing if, so that if Vader comes down after Mace, at the very least I'm going two against one. And I don't think Vader should one shot either of them was my thought process. And maybe I can start trading two shots into one because uh yeah, that, that was literally if Vader basically if Vader chases after Mace and goes for click, knowing that I probably want to pick up the box, here's two ships versus one, and maybe I can trade in. Yeah. Uh, so we get to my falls, uh, and Iden jumps forward with a five straight, because I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that turnout from Mason's click. I was expecting you to carry on coming in and try and present, I suppose, two flanks for me to pick with. Yeah. Um, and I opted for the Jedi flank, or the, the Macy flank. Um, I mean, I was okay because you're still in arc, but I was yeah. expecting you to be further in front, should we say. Uh, and I take a focus. Uh, Gideon comes in behind and takes a focus. And then Click does a one bank to the left, and I'm a little sad I won I won priority here because what I want to do is take a target lock on uh, basically any of the ties that isn't um, Iden or Gideon. Because Gideon's cloaked, so the Diamond Bora missile, I can fire it at him, but it's not likely to hit. And Iden, I was pretty sure, was range one. Uh, which made me a little bit sad. So I just took a focus because I was thinking might be just within range two of click to pass that focus around. Mm. And if and if and if uh, kickback had it after his shot, because um, I knew I'd be shooting before everyone other than Vader, then I can just pass it over to click, and then click can pass his over to Mace should I need it. Yeah. Uh, Mauler and Backstab are both five straight in focus. Vader has three hard and bumps into um, Mauler. I didn't Which, see that one coming. I didn't think the three hard would bump. I mean, it's gone further than it has. Um, but ironically, I couldn't have battle rolled out of that anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I do take damage, so there's a shield. Yeah. Um, but I have got... The only shots I'm taking are either range through or obstructed, so... Aha! Shattering shot! Yeah, get wrecked. Uh, so, Vader goes range three into... Uh, kickback. Uh, rolls hit crit. I roll a single of eight, so I take crit. Uh, and this is disabled power regulator. Uh, then kickback shoots. And I go range one into Iden because we've got to burn the Iden charge at some point, so let's just go. Uh, I uh, roll two blanks in a hit, and I use Stubbs ability to get a uh, reroll a blank into a hit for two hits. Uh, Stubbs ability, click drift ability. Sorry, drift ability. Yeah. And that's why I They're re- the same person. That's when I realised what the stress was for. Yeah. Uh, I roll two of eight. So, pausing quickly, the, the hilarious irony of the, how this turn went out is if I hadn't got priority, uh, gone second and taken that target lock, you'd have been, you literally would have just burned that off with the ion. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Which yeah. is amusing because, they, hey, it actually worked out in my favour slightly. <laughs> Even though... <laughs> Um, so we go to my fives, uh, and 
I was humming and ahhing here about Target Pro because I was reasonably confident that Mace was in Mauler's arc uh, and in Bullseye, so I'd get the Predator. Uh, whereas Backstabber um, has Ahsoka in Bullseye, but not Mace. And maybe I should have should have um, shot Mauler first here. Um, because obviously I want the bullseye for the crack shot for backstabber, but yeah. Um, so I do end up going into Ahsoka. Uh, I roll Even... hit. Oh, sorry, click. Ahsoka's yeah. not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, not click. It looks close enough to a delta from this distance. <laughs> uh, I roll hit crit. I roll two of A to focus on a blank, and I don't spend the focus because A, I forgot about crack shots, and B, I was just I was hoping to keep it for a time where I was well at the time I I forgot about crack shot, and B, I probably wouldn't have spent it anyway because you got to spend crack shot at some point, and I'd rather keep the focus yeah, for when I roll four more dice and need it to stop more. Uh, I do crack shot because damage is a damage through, so yeah, uh, and then so I, shields down. Uh, then well, I... one shield down. Then I do uh, Mauler, and Mauler did have obstructed into Mace, uh, but has unobstructed into Click, so we do the unobstructed. I roll one hit. I roll evade focus. Uh, then it's Mace's go, and we just go into... Uh, we have range three obstructed into Mauler, or range three obstructed into Vader. So I just take Vader, because you'd never know. Like... With Shattering Shot, it's effectively three dice, so why not? I roll uh, Crit Blank and spend a Force to add the focus and spend my f uh, focus token for Hit Crit. Uh, I roll two of eights. Uh, Ident goes into uh, Click with the Ion Cannon uh, and rolls... I should eight. point out that I spent the Click Charge uh, on Mace's shot oh, to prevent range it's three. It's this one, isn't it? The one where we yeah. forgot about Click engaging. Yeah, yes, because we went, we went to Iden, rolled Iden's dice, and I was like, wait, click! <laughs> and we, so we, we roll back, so I, we kept what Iden had rolled, and then I just had a... Yeah, I, I rolled blank focus, and then just elected not to spend it. Um, Iden rolls focus blank, uh, focus hit crit, spends her focus for two and a crit. Yeah, because she's firing the ion cannon. Uh, and I roll evade, focus blank, spend my focus for two evades, and just take a single damage from the ion cannon. Then we go to the threes. Then it's to the threes! Uh, and we uh, go to Ahsoka. Uh, she rolls into Iden, and I roll crit crit. Uh, I roll focus, focus, evade. I elect to take the crit, because uh, it's not going to kill me. Um, and it's a blinded pilot. Uh, then we go stub into Iden, and I did a one straight, so I have three dice, and I roll three hits after a focus. Uh, I roll one of eight, so I do spend the Iden charge. Uh, and then Drift has range two into Iden, so I roll hit blank, re-roll the blank into a hit with his ability for two hits. Uh, I roll focus blank blank. Uh, I lose into an evade, so I live. Uh, live on one. And that is the turn. That is the turn. Uh, planning phase, I do not have to decloak with Gideon. I very rarely uh, am actually forced to decloak with Gideon. Uh, and it is at this point that I realise that uh, kickback is I5 and therefore is higher than everyone else. And so the turn-ins that I want to do aren't going to work. Yes. <laughs> because click, cause kickback is on the wrong side of the formation. Uh, so we, Damn we, people who aren't droids and having different initiatives. <laughs> uh, so we roll off, uh, and I am first player for turn three. Uh, and system yeah. phase. And, oh, sorry. Oh, and you do decloak. Because yeah. okay, this is the turn I tied right. Uh, we are basically all inning, essentially, because yeah. Vader's only going one way. The ties can do their fast... I, the ties, I thought the ties might, like, K-turn, but I was like, well, I don't think that gets them a whole lot, and then, I, I, then I'll probably have Vader. So Gideon decloaks uh, to the left because I was hoping if you'd just done some like slow banks in and stuff, we'd, you'd end up blocking. Yeah. Um, and then I have two modulators because, spoilers, he is about to K-turn. So I didn't really see a way you block that, so. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Uh, so, Stubb does a too hard to the left, basically turning into the centre of the board and facing back towards my edge. But I had I did that because I knew that would, like, <laughs> not bump. Uh, uh, but Gideon is now behind me, which is a little, a little unfortunate, and I believe I just focus here. Uh, yes. Uh, Ahsoka does a one hard to the left, now landing directly in front of uh, Gideon. I spend a force to give Drift a focus, because I know he's not doing anything. Uh, and then I focus myself. Drift does a three hard to the left because I want that's white because I want to keep the stress on him to keep the reroll bubble. But thanks to Ahsoka, I at least still have the focus. Yeah. Uh, getting in four Ks over the top of everyone, uh, which I'm happy with because the only person in shooting him at the moment is um, Ahsoka. Ahsoka, which is okay. Uh, Iden does a one hard, which bumps. I figured it probably would. I figured Iden probably dies this time. But if I can get it so that she's not being shot at by kickback, then you're not initiative killing me. Yeah. Uh, and I do take the red focus. So Click does a one hard to the right uh, and focuses. After I look at the action bar, being like, "What action do these guys have again?" Uh, and yeah, Mace, uh, Mace does a three bank to the right because I thought it would just be on the that side of the rock. I could then like barrel or boost or like and do some focusing just to try and keep chasing Vader. However, it does just touch the rock. I mean, it is close, very close. Um, I take a damage. I roll for a dice, take another damage, and then I spend the force to barrel roll off the rock, and that's Mace done. Because at least when he, I'm out here, I'm probably not getting shot. Yeah. I mean, you weren't getting shot anyway, but... Yeah. But well, I, I didn't know that at the time, though, was yeah. the thing. Um, backs up a one hard to the left uh, and takes the focus. Um, Mauler one hard to the left and barrel rolls to the left, because I think that Vader, who is doing a one straight, will block there. Uh, and I really want Vader to, you know, get a shot. Uh, so kickback does his eye on uh, one bank to the left. Uh, counters bumping into uh, one of my ships. I don't take a damage, uh, and that is that. Uh, and Vader one straights, which just slides past that barrel. Roll. Yes, <laughs> and you just... definitely would have hit him. <laughs> yeah, um, I lock. Uh, who do I lock in the end? Um, I have an hour about this. I think I, think I lock a kickback. No, I lock a soaker. Oh, you lock a soaker. Oh, lock... Of course, you're about to one shot her. I lock a soaker. I dump a force for a focus, uh, and then I range two into a soaker. I giddy in it, uh, and I strain Iden because as I say, I'm pretty sure she's dying. So fine. Uh, I roll crit focus focus. Uh, I spend the focus advanced targeting computer hit two crits. Uh, I roll two blanks and a focus, so shield, two crits. Uh, Ahsoka is on one health. I didn't one shot. Uh, but it, it was, was basically but it was a structural shot. damage on a console fire. It's a structural damage on a console fire. Uh, so then if, get... so my, if Iden is somehow alive, but uh, if, if Ahsoka somehow actually has to roll that console fire, I will be flabbergasted. Uh, so we go to, I think it was backstabber uh who goes into ahsoka and rolls three hits which means she's dead because uh, she's only yep. two i roll blank focus uh, it wasn't backstabber uh, so... it was smaller sorry because i'm checking backstabber yeah. now uh backstabber goes range one into stub i think uh yeah because you're rolling three uh, yeah i did a two so i have three dice uh, i roll three hits and a crit i roll one one of eight, two focuses. Well, as I one of eight, I see it's balanced yeah. on the side. I'm like, I, don't, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I can't remember which side that is. Either way, I spend my focus for three results and I take one shield. Take one shield. Uh, then it's over to kickback. Yeah, because I spent clicks focus. That's how yeah. I did it. I spent, yeah. Over to kickback. I go range one into Aiden. I get hit crit blank. I stub re oh, drift reroll uh, turns that into a focus, which means it's just hit crit. Uh, do you not? Oh, yeah, uh, I roll one of eight, but I take. I, I bumped into a friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. I roll one of eight. I take the crit. Uh, I still, I die. Uh, so that is that. Then we go to the fours, uh, and Gideon yeah. uh, takes a range one shot, I believe, into kickback. Yes. Uh, I roll crit, focus, focus, dump two calculates. 
I roll evade focus. So that is hit crit into me, which is a direct hit. So I've taken four damage onto kickback. So da- yep, down to two. Uh, then over to click. Uh, and I think I just take range one into Vader here. I believe so. I roll hit, hit crit, because who needs mods when you're a clone? Uh, I roll focus, focus, blank. Uh, no, it looks like it was into backstabber. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's into backstabber. Uh, I spend the focus to evade to take the crit, uh, and the crit is a fuel leak. Oh, that yeah, it's like, I knew Stubb was getting a range one shot. That's why I want I wanted to try and pump. Yeah, Stubb's got a range one shot into Mauler. Yeah. No, backstabber, backstabber. So I take that. Yeah. I roll three hits. Uh, I roll trail mix, so take another two. Uh, and that is that. Uh, four, that? three. Yeah, four, three in boxes. What are they? Yeah, exactly. Four, three, and we have each got a ship that is incredibly close to death. Yes. I mean, I would argue that I have two ships relatively close to death. Mace is not doing particularly well. All yeah. on his all on his own merit as well. That's, no enemy input required. <laughs> yeah, funny actually, because after we finished this game, I was thinking about, oh yeah, I must have done a lot of damage to Mace at the start to kill him when I did. And that. actually, no, I shot him once. I don't feel as bad about that. <laughs> Uh, so we roll off, uh, and you are first player for turn four. Yeah. So Drift does a three straight and boosts to the right, just trying to circle around and get out of the crazy hellhole that I'm in. Uh, Stub does a one straight uh, and focuses. Click does a two bank to the right, um, well, basically that's aiming that's in the nice direction. Judge, by the way. Yeah, basically aiming in the direction where I'm pretty sure the majority of Sean's list is going to be. Um, as they all K-turn, uh, and I take a focus. Mace does a two-hard, uh, lining up directly behind the entire enemy list, uh, and focuses. Uh, Gideon does a two-bank, which bumps. Uh, it clears the stress in one of the strains, though, uh, but then I optimate the focus, because, you know, just in case you range one from click. Yeah. Uh, kickback tries to force straight over the uh, Mauler and Backstabber, with the idea being like, maybe I can pick up the center objective and just get away. Unfortunately, I don't clear uh, Mauler, so I bump straight into Backstabber and I take the red focus, because you never know. Uh, even if Kickback uh, doesn't get to, doesn't get to use it, maybe someone else does. Yeah. Uh, I 4K Backstabber, I 4K Mauler, uh, and Good then Lord. I 4K Vader. Uh, I pa- As expected. <laughs> I pass an analyzer target lock on to click. Uh, I spend a force to do a focus, uh, and then I take a stress. Then I range one into click. Uh, yep. I Gideon this, uh, and I strain Gideon. Who do I strain? You strain Gideon. He's strain got a second Gideon. strain up there. Um, I roll, I don't know, but after I spent the focus uh, and fire control, I've got three hits and a crit. I roll three of eights, so last shield gone. A little bit not about that, I'll admit, but... Go click! <laughs> uh, then we go to the fives. Uh, range two from Backstabber. Uh, no mods, uh, one hit. Uh, you Gideon it again, uh, and I roll one of eight, one focus, one blank. Uh, and then uh, Mauler rolls hit crit. Uh, and I roll blank, focus, focus, uh, and I take a strain onto uh, kickback and spend his uh, focus. Because Nick has somehow survived to shoot, uh, so I will keep his focus. Yes. Uh, so kickback has no shot, so Mace takes the range three shot into uh, Darth Vader in a bullseye. I use Click's charge to take away the range bonus. I roll hit crit. Uh, and add the, spend a force for hit hit crit. Uh, Vader blanks out. He elusives into another blank. So that's four for four on blanks. Uh, and takes a damage sensor array. Yep, so far we are on two focus results and four blank results on dice rolled by Vader. Yep. Uh, Vader is. Uh, five dice, uh, five blanks. Um, Vader is on one health. Not ideal. 
That was like five blanks. I'm because confused. I had the the roll before. I had two focuses. You had two and focuses one, and, and one a blank. blank. So one, two, three. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I rolled four I there. If you count the elusive. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is click. I think range one into Vader. Uh, for two hits, uh, and I roll trail mix. Spend a force for two evades. Um, this is Gideon. Range one into click. Uh, for hit crit. Uh, I roll uh, focus blank blank, spend my focus, and I've got damaged engine on click. Uh, and that is the round. Still 4-3. That is the round. Kickbacks on two, mace on two, click on one. Here we go. I mean, click should be dead. Click should probably be dead, yeah. But hey. Yeah. And then I was fretting about uh, Vader with his stupid damage sensor array until I realised it's an action to repair it. Who cares? I'll just trail through what I need to do. Um, so we're going to turn five, uh, and you're first player again. Uh, and it's Drift. Yeah, Drift and Stubbington. Drift's moved. Yeah, he did a one hard, and I think I barrel roll here. Yeah, you did. Stress I, thought you, I thought you were going to pick up for a minute, but... I, I was very, I was thinking about picking up, but I also thought you were just going to come after me and that this would just put a giant target on him. So I barrel to the right towards the centre to put a stress on me, and Stubb does a 3k um, to get the extra attack dice. Click does in a 2k, and I spend a precise precise eye on engine's charge to turn it into a two sloop to the right, so I'm now directly behind, pretty much directly behind Gideon. Uh, and Mace does a three bank to the right... Uh, trying to get out of the way of the swarm of monstrous ties and Darth Vader. Uh, and I believe I force boost and focus. Yeah, I think so. Um, Gideon does a two straight, uh, which only bumps into uh, kickback, but puts him behind Vader. Uh, so I take the red focus. Uh, kickback does a one bank to the... Uh... Right, and I bar basically I barrel roll into a red evade, but I use kickback's ability to before I do it get the strain on kickback. So I I, and I take a target lock on to backstabber. So I I currently have an evade, a stress, and a strain, and a target lock on backstabber. Um, Miller does a two straight to clear the stress. Uh, takes the focus. Uh, a three straight from backstabber, uh, and a after bonus boost. And then a focus. And a one bank from Vader to clear the stress. Uh, I repair the damage sensor array. Um, I spend a force to take a target lock on to stub. And then I spend another force to take a focus. Uh, and then I shoot said stub. Yep. I, wa I wanted uh, mace there, but unfortunately a little bit out of the way. Uh, I roll hit, hit, blank. Uh, I fire control the blank into another blank, uh, so end up with hit, crit. I roll blank, blank. Uh, so Stubb takes a shield and a crit, which is a fuel leak. Uh, your five has nothing. Mauler has nothing. Uh, so Backstabber does the range two into um, Stubb. Uh, got Vader in the side arc. Uh, rolls trail mix. I spend for two results, and I roll blank focus. So stub dies. Uh, click the ultimate ace of ultimateness uh, has shots. I can't remember who shit. Do I go into Vader? I think you're going to Vader here. No, I go. Yeah. I go. Must go into Gideon because yeah, you are I'm rolling two dice. Two dice. So I roll hit crit blank. Uh, I roll evade blank. I elusive into two evades. Uh, and then I go into um, kickback. Kickback. Uh, I roll focus blank. I didn't spend the. F oh, I must have spent the focus on defense. Maybe I went into a focus, not a fair. Uh, uh, so seven three at the end of that turn. Yes, but I'm also very vastly aware that you're one damage away from getting seven points. Yes, but you're also, like, not much... Like, three out of the four of my ships are very easily killable. There is um, uh, so, Stubb does a three hard to the right, aiming towards the centre to keep the stress. Basically, he's now just become a little bit of a, a re-roll bot. Yeah. <laughs> at this point. 
Uh, Gideon does a two bank to the right to clear the stress and strain and picks up a crate because, you know, by God, I thought it was about time someone picked one up. Uh, Click does a two bank to the left, I believe bumps into Vader uh, and takes a red focus. Uh, And Mace does a two sloop, uh, regenerates a force back up to full uh, and points in the way that he assumes Vader is going to be. Uh, so I do a one hard to the right uh, with Mauler, because I was assuming kickback would end up down there somewhere. Um, I one hard to the left with Backstabber, uh, and I just take a focus. Uh, kickback tries to do a two talent to the left over the back of Mauler and fails, so just bumps into him. Uh, and I do a 4k with Vader. Uh, oh, I wasn't expecting this. I take a target lock onto Mace. I spend a force to take a focus. I link that focus into a barrel roll to the right. I then take the second stress from the um, from the K turn. And then I afterburners boost in. And I thought at the time that might have been a mistake. But actually, in hindsight, I think that gets me out of clicks arc. Yeah, I think this is fine. Which, is, which makes it fine. Because I'm... <sighs> All right, maybe I don't... I'm reasonably confident I've got a good chance of initiative killing. Yeah, nice. you, you're pretty I, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I go into mace at range two. Uh, I roll three focuses. So I just... Now I'm like, if I don't initiative kill him, he's going to shoot me back. I'm in bullseye. Vader's probably going to die because I've got no force. i got to focus. And I roll three focuses. And I'm like... Oh, I... yeah. Uh, and then I spend. You spend. I you spend. spend. This, this is this is this is spend all day. Uh, and I I two hits and obviously a crit with the advanced targeting. I roll a single evade, so I take hit crit and mace dies. But you've got the force, so like three paint and you're f- absolutely fine. Two paint and I'm relying on a direct. Yes, but the, so the reason I say you always uh, spend is that let's say. Uh, because if you don't initiate to kill me, I get a decent shot back. And then when you're on one health, uh, one health, a single blank, if I roll high, like, gets yeah. rid of you, right? And I, I, I am likely to at least have two. Yeah. Uh, because obviously the, fo- the, 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 the center thing is a focus automat- is a focus automatically. So I'm likely to have two results. Whereas I was thinking, I was thinking elusive focus should net me two. Yeah, but no, my point is, if I had rolled high and got three, a well, single well, yeah. blank, yeah. Well, I lose it. So I think, I think, yeah. But, yeah, I, I I think you're right. Like, yeah, you go for the go for the damage. Um, so we go to the fives, uh, and it's no shots from me. And also, you have friggin' backstabber right there as well. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that was my backup. Um, and you go range zero into Mola. Yep. So I roll hit hit, I roll and you roll two evades. evades. Uh, so then we go over to my other fours. So Gideon has no shot, uh, but Click has range one into backstabber. So I roll hit hit focus, spend my focus for three. Uh, I roll two evades and a focus and spend mine for three. Uh, and then the Ace of Legend, uh, Stub, has a range two shot into Mauler, and I roll two hits out of hand. I roll one evade, uh, so take a damage. All right. Uh, and we I get in there, boys. I score a point <laughs> at last. Uh, so, 12 3. So this is interesting. This is. You know, this is just a really close game. I don't know how else to even say it. Like, this is just a close game. Yeah, pretty much. Like, uh, not points wise, but ship health wise. <laughs> yeah. The issue I have is Vader's now double stressed. Yes, I think that is a major problem. And you don't have the... Unfortunately, using the afterburners very early in the game means you don't have the afterburners to just be like, and I outie. Yeah, three bank boost. Yeah. So anyway, I you win first player. Yeah. Uh, Drift does a three hard to the right, aiming his arc in the general direction of Vader. Uh, Mauler does a 3k, because I figured uh, no one's going to shoot him down Gideon. There. Gideon, yeah, sorry, Gideon. Um... Click does a two bank to the right, and I pick up a box. Uh, I do yeah, a, a box to be, in fact. 
I do a one heart with Backstabber, uh, and then try and squeeze a barrel roll in, uh, which I do to get right in Drift's face. Uh, and then a 3k from uh, Mauler in the hope that I get a shot on to um, kick back and kill him. All right, well, I'm doing a two talent, so I must have not tried the two talent last round. It must have been a one bank that just bumped. Uh, as kickback just does a two talon. <laughs> right, of course, I did. that was the turn after I did the barrel roll, like, yeah, yeah. shenanigans, isn't it? So, yeah, it must have been a one bank last round. Either way, did what it is. So I had two talon with kickback, and I have a decent range one shot into Backstabber, who I got that target lock on the previous couple turns ago. So, uh, glory to us, Oscar. Vader does a two bank because I wanted to relieve one of the stress. Um... But try and put as much distance between me and your ships as I could. Uh, no shots at six. So we go to the five. Uh, and Mauler takes the range, I'm guessing, two shot into backstabber. Uh, not you backstabber. Mean, uh, kickback. Kick back. Um, no, I don't. I must go into stub because I'm re uh, drift. I'll get the right one because I'm re rolling. Because uh, I roll hit. No, it's click. I've got four dice. It's click. I've got four okay. dice. Uh, then he must be in bullseye. Uh, I yeah. roll a hit blank. I re roll the blank into a focus. So one hit. I roll two of aids and two blanks. Uh, backstabber goes range one into drift because it's the only shot. Uh, I roll one hit. I roll one of aid, one blank. Uh, kickback has range one into backstabber. I roll two blanks and a focus. Uh, then I spend the target lock. Uh, into two hits and a crit. Uh, that kills him. Uh, then finally... Oh, wait, no, we've skipped Gideon here, haven't we? Uh, yes, yes, we have. So what happens is uh, we go to stub for some reason, and I roll... Uh, I have range two bullseye into Vader. I roll two blank. Was that focus blank or two blanks? Uh, I'm not sure. Ago. Either way, I re-roll twice into two hits. Uh, I... I am an idiot! Is what I am. Wait did, wait, did you have the force? Yes. You did have the force. Yes, I did. Yes. And I must have thought... So what I've just done... Uh, is oh, a, my. Uh, yeah. Well, it's changing everything. <laughs> An utterly idiotic move, somehow, is... I rolled uh, evade focus blank, uh, and I elusive the focus into a blank, not realising that I had regained a false back glass. I, I should have known, because you can't not be on one false. But I must have just had it still in my mind that I was um, full staff from the previous turn. What a stupid thing to do! Wow, okay, so because what this means is one damage goes through on Vader and he dies. And he dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, also, wow. why didn't I just elusive the blank anyway? But I mean, also that. Like, yeah. Oh, what a stupid, stupid, stupid thing. <laughs> oh. I mean, okay, Vader's dice are still below average, but not quite as bad as we initially thought. Like, it's still oh, bad, don't get me wrong. Stupid, 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 stupid. That's what, two natural evades out of... I've shot you three times? Uh, yeah. Uh, then and then we, we go back to Gideon. Uh, who has a range three shot and rolls nothing, so it's fine. And suddenly, uh, from being, like, 12... 12-3. 12, 12-3, 12, it's now 15-13 in your favour. Yeah, but ev everyone but Drift is on the, like, the last legs. Uh, and Mauler is actually just a real tie now because he's taken one damage. And has no friends to buff him. So yeah, he is actually just a tie. Uh, yeah, so... so... Roll off and I'm first player. So Drift continues the theme. And I do have three hearts to the left and hope that Gideon's in arc. Uh, I do a two straight with Gideon and take a focus. Click does a two-bank to the right uh, and takes a focus, I believe. Uh, and I two-bank to the left with uh, Mauler and I take a focus. Uh, Kickback does a one-bank to the left, clits the stress uh, and focuses, I'm hoping. Yeah. Uh, so I have Mauler, uh, who has a range one shot into Kickback. I do am an R about it because I've got the bullseye on start uh, on drift for the predator reroll, but I do do the range one, um, 
into kickback because I want to kill him. I need the points. Uh, I giddy in it uh, and I strain um, Mauler, which because I, I look at that, I'm not sure if I'm in arc, but I've got to kill. Got to kill him. Uh, I roll hit, hit crit. Uh, and I roll evade focus, which means I take hit crit and kickback finally dies. But I do get a shot. It's range two into Gideon. And I roll hit focus, spend my focus for two hits. I roll evade blank blank. I elusive into an evade. Uh, I then range one into drift with Gideon. Uh, I roll focus blank blank. Uh, I elect not to spend. And then uh, drift uh, has a range one shot into Gideon. I roll crit crit focus. I drift re-roll into another focus. Uh, I roll evade focus blank. I spend the focus for two evades. So not a whole lot's happening, but at this point... Unless magic happens, I'm pretty sure I've lost. Yeah, because I'm kind of thinking, at one point ahead, I've got one crate. I think I can get Mauler to pick up a crate, probably not this turn, but certainly next turn. Um, which I think is, you can't get um, drift. I can't get drift it. to a crate. And yeah. and if I can just stay ahead on the crates, then I win. So bearing in mind it's thirteen yeah. minutes on the clock. Yeah. So, yeah. so my mistake this round is bugging out with drift because I thought, uh oh, drift can't die, and he's the one they're most likely to go after. So I have three straight and boost to the left, therefore permanently putting drift out of the out of the game. Because uh, yeah, simple, simple. I just didn't want drift to die. What I should have done is just turn to the right and try to bring him back around. So at least next turn he could basically turn around, stress himself in some way to get a reroll and see what happens. I too straight with Gideon because uh, I couldn't go too fast because I don't want to get in the way of Mauler. Uh, I then cloak, forgetting that you can't in fact cloak when you uh, when you have a crate. Uh, but we do catch ourselves on that one. Yeah, we catch ourselves before it matters. It's all good. Uh, so click then does a two hard to the right, and I briefly think about barrel rolling before remembering that, uh, yep, can't barrel roll. So I take target locks on both the ties. Uh, I then do a three hard with um, Mola. I afterburn is boost, uh, and then I pick up the crate because I surprised myself by getting in range of it. Yeah, yeah. And so at this point, I know I've definitely lost short of a miracle. Well, yeah. Uh, and that's the end of the I... turn, because no one has a shot. Yeah. Uh, so it's 1917. Yeah, so it's 1917. You have two crates, I have one. Essentially, what I needed to force a draw was to kill Gideon. Yeah. Uh, and the reason I say Gideon and not more, because technically either of them gets it, but like... I have a chance at getting a shot onto Gideon, I have no chance of getting a shot on Mauler. Yeah, you have to... You have to kill something to... To have a chance, even even a crit through to making to make me drop yeah. the crate isn't enough. Um, but I got to make a fifty fifty on where clicks going, and actually, I think I do this wrong. See, my assumption is you just do a hard one and then go from there. Unfortunately, that's red. All right, fair enough. I still think you do a hard because one. I have damaged engine. Oh, I forgot about the damaged engine because that would have made your. Your hard twos are. My hard twos are blue, so they, they become, become it becomes white. Okay. So drift makes a vain attempt to get back into relevance. I do a two hard to the left and barrel roll to the left, uh, in the in, in the vague hope that there's somehow a turn after this, which gets me a stress. And then hey, maybe click can use his reroll. Who knows? Uh, click does a two hard to the right and takes a focus. And if you're in my arc, I will take the shot. Uh, I three hard to the left because I just want to put some distance. I wonder whether going right was the better call, but actually looking at that... No, I think left no. is correct. Because right, just right. I don't think gets you out of my arc and might even put you in Drift's arc. Yeah, like Straight I can't do because Mulder's in the way, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's, all right, it's range three, but it's not going to be range three. Uh, but I take a focus. Uh, and then Mulder won uh, three banks the hell out of there. Yeah. And takes the focus. 
Uh, there's only one shot. Uh, it's click into Gideon. I click it to make sure it's not range three. And I roll focus, hit. Uh, and I opt to spend the target lock on both of them because at this point I literally need to crit fish because I don't have enough dice to kill you. Yeah. So I need to get hit crit through. So I spend both uh, of the... I, spe- I re-roll both of them in the hopes I get uh, anything. I get I get a crit and I spend my focus for hit crit and I just need you to blank out. Uh, and I get lucky. get two blanks and one focus. So I spend the focus. I take the crit. The crit is a weapons failure. I drop the crate. It doesn't matter. You yeah, exactly. get the point. I get the point. You get the point. Uh, twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen. So that was interesting. Um, like, I don't know. That was just an interesting game. It was. It was, it was really it close, was. and I don't. I don't think it was unfairly close. Overly, no. Um, Uh, in hindsight, still, I I'm... made it close, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was good on you for making it close. He's like, oh, <laughs> but yeah, that that's very much on me. What? What's it yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you'll. All right, I'm ex... well, we know I'm expecting what... a fun card. I was like... <laughs> Well, I know what I'm literally me, neither I of us noticed that in the game. No. I was just so ecstatic that it actually worked. Yeah. Because, oh, um, so review r- review on what I think. I think Drift is fantastic. I actually really like Drift. Yeah, and if your opponent, like, if your opponent goes for him, he's just a three-point ship anyway. It's not... Yeah, he, he's a mini LART. Yeah. Um... Stub and Stub is fine. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I, I, I could replace... I think I could replace Stub with Contrail and the lift is probably better. Where, so for me, where, whereas Iden is good, and we all know Iden's good, there's no, there's no denying that. Um... I'm not sure that upgrading to Big Boy Vader is worth the extra point and the downgrade. Um, whatever I settle on, like, okay, he can do the great shenanigans with um, pattern analyzer and that, but the other Vader obviously has the the blank generation. Uh, you know, for when you do. Fire control a blank into a blank. Um, marksmanship's here or there. It's got afterburners, so that's the important thing. And because he's got hate as well, you're a bit more free to spend your force on, on attack because you'll take some damage, you'll get your force back. You know, so on and so forth. Um, I'd argue... I'd, I don't think either are better than the other. Yeah, I think because my take after the game was basically like, if you're Big Boy Vader, if you fly him well, I think we'll just be better than Little Boy Vader. Yes, but whether that's a detriment to the rest of the list, I think having the option for an extra point in the rest of the list is worth keeping it at Boy Vader. Like, possibly, but like... I mean, this this comes down. I think this comes down to personal preference because I don't think Aiden is that much of a downgrade from many of the four point ships you were looking at. Okay, yes, like in this game, it went pretty poorly for Aiden, but I kind of threw. Oh yeah, yeah no, no, but her. that's what. You, but like, if that had been Howl Runner, suddenly I'm punching a lot harder with those ties. I mean, yes, but also I, I guess has the same target on her back, right? Yeah, but. At least at I five, the likelihood is she's getting use. Yeah. I don't know. I'll keep that playing. That is true. I'll keep playing. But like, let's put it this way: Vader's big boy Vader's great because he can he can do the K turns and the talons and do his bits and bobs, and he can get his focus and his lock off off on one turn. But I find that with Vader's sort of free, uh, boy Vader's freedom to spend the force, that's negligible. And um, the damage output's about the same. Sort of between blank blank to hit for boy Vader and fire control for, for big boy Vader. The damage output's reasonably similar. Yeah. It just comes out of personal taste and, and the list. Yeah, I think it comes down to I think I I think it comes down to personal. I think 
like my my assumption just inherently is that Seven Point Vader just has a higher ceiling. Yes, probably. Um, the question, I guess, the, the I guess the thing is like, is is do you think you're going to be able to get that ceiling because the floor for Boy Vader is also, is higher? You mean the floor? If for that makes big sense. Boy Vader. No, the no the floor because like Boy Vader will just generically do more than Big Boy Vader, but oh, Big see, Boy yeah, Vader yeah, see, yeah, yeah. can do more than yeah. Little Boy Vader. Uh, and there's a reason why this is called Out of the Mines and not Living It Up at the Summit. <laughs> Out of the Mines and not World to Worlds! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Looking so, in it. that respect, I would say um, Little Boy Vader yeah. over Big Boy Vader because the floor is high. You'll just get more efficiency out of him. Although, to be fair, this is all a negligible conversation anyway because we've got Third Vader coming soon. True, we do have Third uh, Vader. Let's wait and see. What will he be called? Third Wheel Vader. Third Wheel Vader. You know, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll see how he Actually, goes. no, we already have the... Wait, wait, this is before Vader, if we count uh, the Defender. No, no, we don't count the Defender. It's just the chassis. That's just Defender Vader. But, yeah, uh, it's interesting, and we'll continue to play along with it. So... Yeah, I think I'll... I think next week I might bring it back to Separatists, probably. <sighs> like, as much as I want to keep flying droid swabs, I also want to try other stuff I mean, for uh, the podcast, because me me rolling up with eight ships every week is not the most interesting I thing know. to hear about. But luckily, next week, I'm hoping to have a re- in-life recorded game, so... Oh, true, true. Yeah. You will be flying Separatists if you're on it, so... Yeah, probably will. <laughs> yes, uh, for those of you watching YouTube, I have remembered that in my cupboard for the last two years I've got a load of cameras and stuff from when I used to stream in life during the pandemic and I'm like I might as well take these to club night and start recording some games so hopefully hopefully yeah. we'll uh we'll bring some of those to you over the next few weeks. Uh and on that note we'd better wrap it up for Yeah, I think uh, we've basically said all we could say. Um yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for listening. And I guess on a side note, you know, it's funny, Sean, if you haven't bumped and then forgotten that you had the Force, Vader lives on two hull, is like not even close to dying. Yeah, well, that, thanks for that, Sam. Yeah, no worries. I just thought <laughs> I'd just got to throw that in at the end. And if you don't edit it out, woohoo! Yeah, on, on Sam's little dig there, uh, we'll wrap <laughs> it up. Uh, see you guys next week. See you guys next week. <laughs>